So initially we got dispatched uh, due to multiple people feeling ill and having to evacuate the building. Uh, On-scene representatives said that it was possibly coming an odor from a forklift battery. When hazmat crews got on scene, they verified that there was an overheated battery. The forklift has been removed from the building. The building is currently being ventilated and hazmat crews are staying on scene to make sure that those levels are safe for employees to enter back in. When we got on scene, there were multiple patients. Fire had to evaluate, treat on scene, and then transport to the hospital. At last count, there was 14 patients that got transported, all in um, stable condition. And it looks like after the ventilation, looking over your shoulder here, it looks like they're, they must have ventilated all right because they're letting everybody back in now. Yes, that's correct. They started, started ventilating about an hour ago, so by now it's probably aired out. Like I said, hazmat crews are going to meter that area, make sure it's safe for everyone to get back inside. A lot of times this is a safety thing for you guys, right? I mean, you have a battery, you don't know what kind of damage it's going to cost, especially if one has exploded. It could cause some danger if you're close to it, and that's probably what happened to these folks. That's true. The battery didn't explode. It was just overheated. Oh. But any time the battery starts to overheat like that, it off-gasses. Oh, okay. And that off-gas is oh. what permeates through the, the building itself, and that's what the people are smelling whenever they're recognizing that there's an odor. And that's what causing some of these symptoms of nausea and headache and stuff. Yeah, you start to get that, like, rotten egg smell or whatever to a battery kind of Yeah, thing. that's correct. All right, yep. perfect. So you guys did your thing, and now it's like uh, they're letting them back in now? Yes, sir. All right, perfect.